Hi and welcome to this video where we will learn about the life cycle of paper towels. Did you know that the first paper towel was invented in the year 1910 by Arthur Scott from a bunch of rejected toilet paper? Mr. Scott perforated the toilet papers in small town sized sheets and sold them. These towel sized sheets became the first ever disposable paper towels. And from then on, the paper towels evolved to become the paper towels that we've known today with various types for different uses. There are several types of paper towels such as bin free paper towel, multifold paper towel, recycled paper towel, kitchen paper towel, organic paper towel, soft paper towel, gas bathroom paper towel, absorbent paper towel, and paper towel for windows and windshield. Paper towels in general can be used for many things such as removing crayon and wax marks, acting as an emergency coffee filter, keeping the vegetables fresh when they are placed in the fridge, cleaning the microwave and absorbing grease and gum. Paper towels are so widely and commonly used due to its convenience and comfort that they lend to their users as they can be used for basic cleaning of any and everything which then leading to the rise of global spending on paper towels for use at home to about $12 billion in 2017. Now that we have known in general what paper towel is and their uses, let's find out about paper towels life cycle. The first stage of paper towels life cycle is raw material extraction. The wood chips and forest residues for pulp production for the paper towels come from multiple sources and co-product generation processes such as lumber, mill scrap and on-site chipping. The raw materials are then transported by heavy-duty tractor trailer from harvest location to pulp mill. Then, the pulp is made in mills via a thermos chemical process from wood chips. Wood residues from debucking and chipping are assumed to be collected for use as fuel for pulp production and allocation was performed on a mass basis for these processes. Pulp mills commonly acquire a large fraction of their non-electricity energy needs from combustion of biomass fuels like wood chips and recovered fuels like black liquor that are of biogenic origin. After the pulp is produced, the manufacturing and packaging stages started. The production of paper towel includes both paper making and paper converting, including embossing. After that, folding box board for the paper towel score and polyethylene LLDPE for the plastic wrapper of the roll take place and proceed to roll paper towel on cores and putting rolls in primary packaging. There is no secondary and transport packaging materials are included. The paper towel then will be distributed during distribution stage. It will be distributed by tractor trailer truck to a mix of distribution centers, club stores and retailers. The next stage which is use stage will occur when consumers purchase the paper towels and the product is assumed to be used for common household purposes. And after that, it will be disposed of. The used paper towels cannot be recycled. Therefore, they will either get transported to the landfill or the incinerator. Now that we have understood how paper towels came to be, let's assess the life cycle impacts of paper towel. Life cycle impact assessment LCIA is a method used to clarify the intensity of the life cycle inventory results with respect to their environmental effects such as climate change, human health and biodiversity. The LCIA is also used to conduct a comprehensive evaluation by integrating the environmental effects. The first impact of paper towels production is fossil fuel depletion. It is the largest potential indicator of environmental impact across the full paper towels life cycle. Based on the contribution analysis for fossil fuel depletion during the raw material extraction, pulp production contributes 49% for fossil fuel depletion while facility electricity and fuels are the next leading contributors following pulp production. Energy requirements at the plants are high and draw from fuels and electricity grids that are predominantly fossil-based. It doesn't help the matter when the residues from debucking and chipping require fossil fuels for their harvesting and processing, hence further increasing the dependency of fossil fuel. Meanwhile, during the distribution stage, the distribution of paper towel to the centers, club store and retailers requires long-distance tracking. This activity contributes approximately 6% to fossil fuel depletion. The second impact is emission. Pulp production or raw material extraction process contributed the greatest share to GHG emissions but however results in significant reductions due to carbon sequestration during tree production. The net global warming potential for pulp is slightly negative, negative 0.15 to negative 0.25 kg carbon dioxide per equivalent, as the sequestration slightly outweighs the emissions from the supply chains. 
the facility electricity is the next most contributing life cycle stage, dominated by electricity from coal, while production line and disposal emissions are as the third contributor. And during the end of life stage, the paper towel is assumed to degrade anaerobically in landfills, contributing to some landfill methane emissions. Moving to the third impact, which is particulate matter, based on health effects indicator, there are presence of sulfur dioxide and particulate emissions less than 2.5 mm related to pulp production and electricity purchase for the manufacturing. This is mostly due to the portion of both facilities' electricity came from coal and biomass, which contributes most to respiratory effects. And the last impacts that occur during the life cycle of paper towel is water consumption. This is mostly due to the fact that production line requires more water compared to all other life cycle stages with a total of 47% followed by pulp with 29% and electricity which is 24%. After understanding the impacts of paper towel's life cycle, let's find out how the impacts can be reduced. The first one is less dependency on coal power or through otherwise acquiring more electricity from less fossil fuel intensive sources. Reductions in the dependency of grid electricity will reduce impacts in fossil fuel depletion, respiratory effects and global warming potential. Next is fossil fuel energy use information along with the global climate change estimates. This could be used to encourage pub suppliers to continue to reduce their energy use and greenhouse gas emissions during production. Other than that, the producers have to stay diligent in their commitment to sustainable sourcing so that expanding the land area needed to support energy needs at the facilities will not impair forest values and services. The fourth one is to include the potential of carbon sequestration as criteria for product design because pulp production processes could deliver the most significant reductions in the climate change indicator along with fuel purchasing of biomass for energy. In reducing water consumption, Continuous improvement programs designed to use less water and recycle more can yield life cycle benefits provided that burden shifting is avoided. Besides that, water reduction or recycling strategies at the pulp and paper making facilities would make the most meaningful improvement to this indicator. That's all on the life cycle of paper towels. Now we know that every product has their own impact towards the environment either big or small or how important LCA is to help us make a wise judgement in choosing environmentally sound products. This is the list of references for all the information contained in this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you gain something from this video. Bye bye. Come on and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter.